for your interest in Forsyth County 4-H programs for the 2022-2023 school year. I'm Heather Haynes and I'm the 4-H agent here in Forsyth County and today I'm going to walk you through the programs that we're going to be offering this school year. But first, let me introduce you to the Extension staff. So in the 4-H program area, we have myself along with my amazing admin assistant, Susan Mamrick. In the Agriculture and Natural Resources Department, we have Heather Kolich, who is our a &R agent, as well as our County Extension Coordinator. We have Shannon Kennedy, the a &R educator, and Beverly Adams, the a &R program assistant. And last but not least, we have Sharon Maycheck, our administrative assistant. So let's move on to this year's programs. We're going to start with Clover Buds. So Clover Buds is for kindergarten through third graders. It's technically a pre-4-H club that meets monthly on the second Wednesday of every month beginning on September 14th. Those meetings are from 5.30 to 6.30 at the Extension Office located at 5110 Piney Grove Road in Cumming. This year we'll be focusing on plants and animals and at each lesson we will be doing a short educational lesson as well as a craft that the kids will get to take home. Then for our fourth through 12th graders, we have community club. So community club is open to any fourth through 12th grader who lives in the Forsyth County community. And it's a monthly meeting that focuses on community service projects and leadership activities. It will begin on September 14th. It will also meet the second Wednesday of every month from 7 to 8 p.m. at the Extension Office. At the second meeting, we will select our County Council Board. So our County Council Board is 7th through 12th grade students that are elected by their peers during Community Club. And they actually host the monthly business meeting of Forsyth County 4-H. So they help the staff plan events, fundraisers, as well as community service projects, and we will set the dates for those meetings after our board members are elected. We will have a president, a vice president, a secretary, a senior 4-H representative, and a junior 4-H representative. Then we have Conservation Club through our, for our fourth through 12th graders. So if you have a kid that is interested in environmental science, including environmental awareness, stewardship, and learning about ecological principles, this is the perfect opportunity for them. So meetings will be the second Monday of each month from 6 to 7 p.m. at our office beginning on September 12th and wrapping up on May 8th. Then we host several volunteer-led programs, the first being Horse Club. Horse Club is open to 4th through 12th graders. You do not have to own a horse to participate in 4-H Horse Club, but it gives you the opportunity to learn about horses and how to care for them. So members will have uh, some opportunities throughout the year to participate in educational events as well that are competitive. And those include horse quiz bowl, horse judging, and hippology. Meetings are usually at the extension office or barns around the county. And as soon as we have identified and screened a, screened a new volunteer leader for horse club, we will set meeting dates and those will be available on the horse club tab on our web page. Then we have our Project Safe Shooting Sports. Safe stands for Shooting Awareness, Fun, and Education. And this year, we have a archery team for fourth through 12th grade students. So the archery team is full right now. If you would like to be added to the wait list, we are happy to add you if you will email Miss Susan at the email listed on the screen. But if you're interested in your child participating next school year, mark your calendar for July uh, because that's when we usually do signups for that. Then we will also be participating in four judging teams during the school year. The first one is forestry judging. 
youth are going to learn to identify up to 70 tree species and learn about some of the most common insects and diseases that impact our forest in Georgia. They're also going to learn pacing and compassing skills and how to estimate the timber volume for trees. So practices usually begin in late July and wrap up the Tuesday before September 7th this year. The competition will be held at Wasiga 4-H Center. Then we've got Cotton Bowl and Consumer Judging. To me, this is the best judging team for youth to participate in because these are going to be skills that kids can carry on into adulthood. So 4-Hers are going to learn to critically think and judge classes of consumer items. So uh, let's say that the topic is blue jeans. Youth will be given four pairs of blue jeans and a consumer scenario and be asked to rank that consumer item based on the scenario that they have been given. Youth also have to give a set of oral reasons on one class explaining why they place the items the way that they place them. And they also do a advertisement about why cotton is important. Practice will, will be held at the Extension Office on Tuesday nights from 5.30 to 7, October 11th through November 1st. The contest will be held in Paulding County on November 2nd. All right, moving right along to poultry judging. So in poultry judging, youth learn about chickens, including parts of the birds, the egg quality, both inside and outside the egg. Those practices will be held at the Extension Office and the Sharing Springs Park Community Building. Those practices will be held on Tuesday nights from either 5.30 to 7 or 5.30 to 6.30. They will wrap up on April 18th and the district contest will be the following Tuesday on April 25th in Gordon County. Wildlife judging practices will be on the same night as poultry judging classes. So if your child is interested in participating in both, we would love to have them join us for both. So in wildlife judging, youth learn about wildlife that is local to the state of Georgia and how to preserve not only the animal species, but also natural resources. So those practices will be from either 7 to 8 or 6.30 to 8 at the Extension Office or Sharon Springs Park. And we'll wrap up on Saturday, April 29th with the state contest at Rock Eagle 4-H Center. All right, let's talk about talking. Project Achievement is our yearly public speaking contest. You might also hear it referred to as CPA, which stands for County Project Achievement, or DPA, which stands for District Project Achievement. So let's talk about Cloverleaf Project Achievement for our fourth through sixth graders first. So our fourth through sixth graders are going to start out on the county level. They'll give about a five minute presentation on a topic of their choice, along with some visual aids. And that contest will be held on January 24th. The location will be announced on our website when we get closer to January. If your child does well at the county contest, they will be asked to participate in the district contest, and it will be held at Rock Eagle 4-H Center on February 18th. All right, now, junior and senior project achievement for our 7th through 12th graders is a little bit different. So these guys have to turn in a portfolio before they compete in the public speaking part of the contest. And essentially a portfolio is a resume of everything that they have done in that project area during the last calendar year. So from January to December of 2022, anything that they've done that has to do with their project. So those are going to be due to me by January 6th at 5 p.m. If you want help on your portfolio, we will be hosting a portfolio workshop at the Extension Office on October 19th.
from 2.30 to 5. That's one of the early release school days. Or you can make a drop-in appointment on January 3rd or January 4th. The contest will be at Rock Eagle 4-H Center March 3rd through the 5th. Throughout the year, we also offer various district and state events and conferences that youth can participate in. For our middle school students, those will be Junior Conference at Rock Eagle on November 12th and 13th, and Junior Rally at Wasiga on April 22nd and 23rd. And for our high school students, Weekend in the Classic City will be November 12th and 13th. Fall Form will be December 10th and 11th. 4-H Day at the Capitol will be sometime in February. Senior Conference, aka 4-H Prom, will be April 1st and 2nd at Rock Eagle. And last but not least, State Council will be June 23rd through the 25th at Rock Eagle. All right, let's move on to one of my favorite parts of my job, summer camp. So summer camp ages go by the 2022-23 school year. So if you are currently a fourth through sixth grader, you can go to Cloverleaf Camp at Rock Eagle. Our county will be going on July 10th through the 14th. If you are watching this video before December, we don't have camp prices just yet, uh, but keep an eye on our website and we will post those as soon as they become available. Now for our middle and high school students, youth must be deemed active 4-Hers in order to register for 4-H camp. And that means they've competed in a competitive event. So they have either done project achievement or one of those four judging teams that we went over a few minutes ago. So they can go to junior camp as a seventh and or eighth grader at Forts and 4-H Center. That will be July 12th through the 16th. They can go to Marine Resources Camp at Burton 4-H Center on Tybee Island, July 10th through the 14th, or head up to Wasiga for Wilderness Challenge Camp the week of June 19th through the 23rd. Then we have two camping opportunities for our high school 4-Hers. They can attend Senior Extreme Camp at Rock Eagle 4-H Center on Pioneer Camp, June 5th through the 9th or they can attend regular senior camp at Rock Eagle from July 3rd through the 7th. If you have any questions about our programs for the 2022-2023 school year, please feel free to reach out to me at heather.haines at uga.edu or give us a call at 770-887-2418. Thank you.